So already having done our first resource, which is book, we are going to do the next uh, resource, which is a page. Now, at this point, you will be required to take a screenshot of your resource and then you upload it on your ePortfolio because remember time is still running I'm 41 minutes remaining so avoid being locked out so I'm going to take a snip a snipping tool that, that is what most laptops will use uh, for taking a screenshot so I'm going to click new and then I'm going to take a screenshot of my book so this is just how it appears on the outside Okay, so after that is coming, there it is. I right click there, it says servers. I'm going to save out um, book cover. So I'm going to say book cover. All right, and then I'm going to take another one uh, when the book is open. So I'm going to click on the book open. Yeah, the way it looks like this. Let me have my chapters on like that. And I will take another uh, screenshot. New. And you take one that covers like that. That is perfect. Then I also save us. I'll say uh, book inside. I'm done so let's go to the next resource which is now um, a page so for me to go back I can use this link here my first course to take me back to the course page there we are so I'm going to turn editing on of course and remember this link add an activity or resource it is present in every topic add an activity or resources it is here in topic number two if you click here you can see them Topic number three, you can see them. So I'm going to click add an activity in topic two. You can use any. So I'm going to resources. Then the page is here. Okay. So equally, I'm going to use the same content. I'm not going to have, uh, let's say, introduction to computers. That is my, oh, my name. And then I will leave the description, you know, empty for now come to the page content down here and that is where I'm going to copy some you know some lengthy text and I'm going to paste it there so remember you have a number of options you can format superscripts you can do quite a number of things you can insert a link we'll look at that later um, bold italics etc so for now that is it so I'm going to simply say save and display so this is how my page looks like so you can take a screenshot of this and also uh, you can go back to the course page my page your page is here introduction to computer you can also take a screenshot of that so that is how to create a page in the learning management system the sandbox course